Good morning, guys. Welcome to Tuesday. It's our favorite day of the week. You can always find us at the sales barn. I actually need to go to the store and get money. I have no money. Do you have cash? Well, you never know what we're gonna find. So we should get some cash. Now those are pigs. That is a big pig. Are they all boys? Yeah. Look, this little guy's trying to eat my purse. Oh, I think they're young. They're babies. Oh, they're all babies. Hi, baby. Don't touch them though, because I'm worried about diseases. Look at you, you're a cutie. More little piggies. Hi, pig. Oh, and then they're babies. <laughs> they all have such weird voices. So we've never ventured off to other breeds of goats. I bet you they're all boys. Probably. They're all really cute though. That gold one is really cute. We have the same taste. I like this. the only one with the beard. Yeah, he's cute. Sophie's gonna see if they're boys. Just lift up the front legs. Just lift one up. Yep, they're boys. That one's a boy. Lift up the gold one. I bet you it's a boy. Everybody sends their boy. Yep, I see it already. Poor little things. It sucks to be born a boy. There's not a lot of use on a farm for a boy, so they all get shipped out. I'm really grateful that we found good, amazing homes for all of our little boys. I wonder if these ones are boys too. Oh, there's girls in this stall. Out of all goats, the dwarf goats are the most hardy and easy to raise. Look at that one's got a big lump on its neck. That is scary. Goats and sheep and... Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'll stay back. <laughs> and look, it's got sores on its mouth. That is so awful. They can get a disease that causes tumors all throughout their whole body. And when you see it on the outside, it means there's more on the inside. So I told you guys all the things we had on our list for this year for our farm. And the last one to come is my sister's pig. She's been raising him for over a year and he's her baby. And so he'll be coming soon to finish out this season's additions to our farm. But we have a wish list for like our five year plan maybe our three-year plan um, and we're gonna get a couple other things the things that we want for our farm we're not set up for yet we still have to build stuff we have to figure it all out but there are just a couple things that we want what do you want Sam I want a cow we want a cow I we definitely meat cows yeah, yeah we want meat cows we want to be a little bit more self-sustainable um, so we definitely want meat cows what and we want a mini, Sophie and I want a micro mini Highland cow and we want that as pets. So like we'd have to have two so that they could have friends and we want those as pets. They're really, really expensive so we're saving up for those suckers. Uh, and then Sam wants meat cows, just a couple, right? Two? So eventually in our five year plan, we want a couple of cows. I want emus. I want two, maybe three, a boy and two girl emus. I love them. We've been watching a show, Sam and I recently, and the, it's like a farm show. And these guys got three emus and they got them as babies and made them super friendly. And, oh, they like, I want them so bad. Sophie, do you want emus? Yeah. Yeah, Sophie and I both want emus. So. Cows and emus are our five-year plan. One day I'd like to have another goose, but we need to have a pond for that. And we have to have a better area for that. So we're good with what we have for this year, but our five-year plan are cows and emus. And so we're, we're gonna keep our eye out. Like we're gonna keep looking at them and figuring it out. It takes us a while to figure out what we want exactly and what our plans are. And it kind of involves over time. So. We just keep looking at them and seeing what they have out there to offer. And one day though, mark my word, we'll have cows and emus. Comment below if you could have one animal, if you could get one animal right now to love and care for, or for me, or for your farm, or whatever. If you could have one animal, what is your dream animal besides a horse? It can be a horse. What is your next dream farm animal? All right, so my garden's a little small this year, but I love it. It's so super cute. Oh, she came in. 
they were all in. So we leave the horses on the grass until about two o'clock. She does look rough. They look rough, baby. I can't wait till you do something with her. So this week has been really cold. It kind of makes you not want to do anything. Look it, I don't think you guys can see, but Sam hung up those brooms, that broom on the wall there, and they love it. Yeah, they don't like those black things. Yeah, I don't like those black things either. Over there, these sharp things. So you're in the barn with the boy, with Storm. She's over here. He's over there. I don't know what it means. But I'm calling it now. I think Lady's gonna be the boss. I think she's gonna be the boss of the herd one day. Well, Penny's like in love with her when she's not with her. Penny's in love with her when she's not with her. Hi, baby. So, our new pig is coming this week. We weren't expecting him, but he's coming this week. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I little corner there. I love it. Scrub Usually Sam there. passes everything by me before he does stuff. But he made like a little wash area for, what's that for? Oh, sometimes you gotta scrape the bucket with something. Oh, the bucket. The sludge and like sometimes there's like. The water buckets? Yeah, depending what's in there. And what's that for? The hose, <laughs> tighten it and untighten it. Oh, well anyways, I love it. You did an awesome job. It's so cute. Blue bucket over there. Where's honey? Can you put that over by my garden? And I can collect gar water by my garden? How are you gonna collect water? I don't know, can it rain There's in another there? another one of those. Where is it? By the fire pit. All right, I'm gonna put that by my garden and fill it up. I have that, because it collects that water. So our new pig, who is the last installment for this year's pets on our farm, is coming this week. He's coming sooner than we thought. I didn't want him too early because I don't want Posey to get pregnant. She's still a baby, so I wasn't going to get him until later, but my sister's getting frustrated. He's getting to be a little bit more destructive because he is a bigger pig and he lives inside. So I told her he could come, and I think now is the right time because Posey can't get through the fence anymore. She's stuck where she is. She chose her spot. She can't travel around the whole entire farm, so I know I can keep them separated. So my plan is to let him live out here until they're till Posey's old enough that they could be together. They could he could live out here, um, and kind of live with the horses, or he could live in the goat barn, have his own stall, and go out with the girl goats. The only problem with that plan is that the girl goats are kind of mean, and I don't know if he's gonna know how to handle that. So anyway, we're gonna see. He's coming this week, so get excited. He is a totally different kind of pig. He's a American miniature pig. He's about 45 pounds, and he looks totally different. He's not a pot belly. He's not a cooney cooney pig. He looks totally different. Can't wait to show you guys. She's a short neck, but a big head. She's a short neck, but a big head. Maybe her neck looks short, because she keeps it on so much. It's been a long time since I've been in here. So Sam and I are still working on the idea that we could put a little pool out here. It's very downhill though. And then we could put a little door in here and put a little deck out here and we could have just like a little floaty area for the summer. Nobody greets you better than a little piggy, you guys. She's following along right at my feet. She keeps bumping her nose into my ankles. Sam bought me this little <laughs> container from the dollar store. He says it's good. For me to put water in. Clearly he doesn't handle goats because the goats would poop in it and the pig will just tip it. He got it because I put this little bucket out here. He thinks it's too deep for the baby goat to get water out of it, especially when they drink it down a little bit. But clearly the chicken is mastering it no problem. Looking for my mother's eyes as I'm staying close to the mirror. Everybody needs to see. What is she getting? Why is she special? <laughs> Little things I remember Place a hand upon my... When we had the horses at the other barn and we just had the horses and we had to go down and do chores at night, I always wanted to have goats and I always wanted to have a pig. And I was always really worried that I would feel stuck, that I would feel overwhelmed because of the work we had to do every single day. Sometimes I get 
melancholy almost when I there's not enough variety to my day or to my life I sometimes I always have to have stuff to do that feels that feels good to me when I wake up each morning if I I don't if I get bored I start to I start to feel a little bit melancholy but and I was always worried that the work would feel the same every single day like mucking stalls every single day would feel overwhelming because there was no change and ever since we moved to this farm and we've gotten so many more animals we've gotten a whole pack of goats and we bred babies and sold babies and with the milking it's all so much the same every single day but I don't know what it is I just feel every day so much joy like I never go outside I never wake up in the morning and think like oh I have to go and do this and this and this I wake up and I think yay I get to go down and I get to check on the goats and I get to go down and I get to feed the baby at lunchtime and I get to spend time just sitting with them and cricket comes over and the little girl comes over and they just spend so much time with me it's just so much joy like I never thought it was gonna be like this I always thought that I was gonna get bored and restless and not handle it but I'm handling it I'm more than handling it it's literally the biggest joy of my life. Hey, what are you looking at? Say hi. She is one of my favorite goats of all time. She is just such a friendly little goat. I never thought I'd love a black goat, but I love her. And look at how cute Lola got. She isn't very big. She's just a tiny little goat, but her fur is so nice. It's so short compared to our other goats. And she just looks like she's shaved and beautiful. She's actually one of the cutest goats that we have and she's so sweet too.